name's Ian Briggs. I'm the design director and co-founder of Briggs Automotive Company. Um, I formed the business with my brother Neil uh, back in 2009 and since 2011 we've been producing um, the single seat supercar mono. As a, as a small manufacturer we can afford a high piece price um, if we can avoid a high investment cost and so 3D printing with the lack of upfront investment um, but with a slightly higher piece price in the early days um, that was something that was instantly uh, of interest to us. After say in the early days when it was referred to as rapid prototyping it, it, we didn't really understand its implications as production parts because we use um, over 44 different parts of the car are actually 3D printed now. Structural engine components, wing mirror supports, light surrounds. Um, we've really embraced 3D printing and the design freedom it's given us. The Ultimaker ecosystem allows us to bring all the different aspects of our production together. So the material, we're, pr we're printing grips in different material than we're printing, for example, inlet runners. Um, and all the optimizations, um, the jobs for the different machines, it brings them all together into an ecosystem that allows us to constantly optimize and have it all stored in one location. So Mono is very uh, heavily influenced on one side from a product point of view. It's very, um, it's very much about um, well, it's easier to explain what it's not about. It's nothing to do with transportation. We set out to produce a car that was about the sport of driving. Driving for our owners is a leisure activity. From an inspiration point of view, it was always going to be a new product, and so we looked at science fiction robots. We looked at things from the future because it's a future product. We very much feel that the future of the car as transport will go in one direction, maybe autonomous, electric, whereas we identified that for people like ourselves who enjoy driving, we wanted something that was really just focused on that. My name's Thomas Tunstall. I'm a bodywork technician and 3D printing specialist. This is what we call a runner. So this is directly mounted to the engine in this position. And then we have an air box, a carbon air box, which bolts directly onto it. Um, and then this one is a mirror arm, which directly bolts onto the main body. And we have the mirror head and the lens uh, so the driver can see behind. So these are covestral materials which are reinforced with carbon fibre, which are strong and also lightweight for our supercars. So, so our runners, if they were machined, they'd be north of £200. Through carbon materials, they're about £60 each. The mirror arm would be a lot heavier to start off with, but would be north of £400. And for a set, they're £90. So it's a great improvement on cost. We can keep these in-house, which we can keep track of where they are. With Mono R, we are trying to keep the car as light as possible while maintaining quality and structural rigidity. For our 3D printed parts, we use exclusively Covestro. Um, it's the Novamed CF10. It's a carbon fiber reinforced nylon, I believe. Um, we're using that for anything where the structural properties are really important for us. Um, we use them on the mirror arms. Um, obviously, the mirror arms are supporting the wing mirrors. Um, 270 kilometers an hour, it's a lot of force on those components. Um, probably the most, um, the most strongly uh, loaded part on the car are the inlet runners from the airbox. So um, if you just to look at Mono R, that airbox on the left hand side, that's supported exclusively by the three inlet runners pr pr uh, printed with CF10, um, as are the inlet uh, trumpets as well. So um, we're using that material in all different applications all over the car. The Ultimaker Digital Factory is excellent and has made it possible to improve manufacturing processes for prototype and production parts at BAC. For example, I can pre-slice print jobs and save them to our digital warehouse, which means that I can slice the application needed instantly and this saves a lot of time. The Digital Factory also means we can have all our Ultimaker printers integrated with the software we use which allows me to remotely manage the 3D printers, projects and teams. There are also many features that help to improve my job. The printer detail page in Digital Factory gives me more control of the printers, enabling monitoring of print statuses, remotely updating firmware, and setting up a maintenance schedule for every connected printer. As a manufacturer first stepping into 3D printing, um, one of the things that was super important to us is to have local support. Um, it, was a, it was a journey for us. Uh, the machines were new, the materials were new. Um, learning to design the parts was new. Um, and it's something I think we'd have probably waited a bit longer to do had we not had the local support that we had and so um, that's been really fundamental in us adopting this technology I have to say.
Having access to industrial materials on Ultimaker's open platform makes it easy to select the most suitable material for the application to ensure high quality manufacturing. BAC has used this platform to find and optimise print profiles for third party materials that can be integrated with our Ultimaker 3D printers.